Hey, you done here? Okay, I'm uh, looking back at my server again. And I'll turn the light on. So okay, so the yellow light on the drive-in bay 3 there, it's still on. <clears throat> I thought it was doing an automatic fix, uh, but I, evidently you have to hit the F1 to get it to do that. It doesn't just automatically do it. Uh, this HP DL 380G7. Then the last one here, number eight, is uh, there's no drive in there because I. It said it was failing, so I can't. I fooled around with it and tried to. I didn't have anything I could plug it into to diagnose it, but the server. So I used what software I had on the server, and uh, couldn't really figure anything out. It just. But the RAID controller says it's. It was a. Uh, fixing to fail and and it wouldn't use it so um, I pulled it out <clears throat> that's been a month or two ago now I got another one and I, like I was saying in the previous video uh, happened just yesterday day before and we did have a rainstorm come in and uh, and uh, this what it's, <clears throat> it's been happening even on sunny days the last couple of weeks just out of the blue it will just the uh, it's like we get a brown out on it's almost like it's only on that circuit the lights in the house don't blink or anything anyway um, it'll go down it'll just shut down in the middle of whatever you're doing <clears throat> but I haven't ever seen that happen to a hard drive though except for this time and uh, <clears throat> it will <coughs> also my modem and my router will reboot so I'm guessing that they're on the same circuit so I'm going to put this camera back in the tripod and uh, I'll zoom in on the monitor a little more. <clears throat> Oops. Too much zoom and it'll start getting really grainy on this camera. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> leave it like that. And uh, trying to make sure that I'm getting what I, I'm getting the whole monitor. I, I like to get in as close as I can, but with it, uh, there's so much extra crap on the screen of this. You know, I, I guess all cameras, I can't see the edges of the screen, and it, I can't see what's in it very well because it's you know like two inches by three inches or something. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm using a magnifying glass to help just now. <clears throat> That helps. <clears throat> but I definitely like it better when I use OBS Studio and then I have my monitor to see as a preview. That's a... It's a TV, a 43-inch 4K TV, so that really works well. But you can't, uh, can't run OBS Studio uh, <clears throat> when you're fixing the reboot. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, <clears throat> it said... Uh, I went ahead and took screenshots just now. I, w I was watching the video just to get to make sure I knew what to hit. So let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I was trying to see how many I had of the same thing. It's kind of blurry. Uh, that's the best it'll it will do uh, aimed at the monitor and that was with me hand holding it and uh, and not zooming in so it may be even a little more blurry but anyway uh, the one that I the first one is talking about the uh, plot 8 that's 8 there <clears throat> bay 8 I mean uh, port 2i box 1 bay 8 there's only one box on this machine they call that whole driver area the box one uh, that's no drive in there at all and then uh, says logical drive failure it never has changed that that was the message and you know what I finally realize now uh, I never have tried running you know hitting F1 and, and going into that recovery I don't think I saw it before it went away too fast uh, and th so that's I, I'm gonna probably try that first I'm just gonna do it like it is because uh, I know it did, I do remember it did a recovery when I took that drive out, and I left it in there for several days hoping it would recover 
automatically and fix it. I hadn't realized until uh, I saw this message here that you had to, well, I, tr I thought it was still going to do it automatically by default, but it turns out it, uh, it went away when I was trying to read it. I mean, I couldn't, <clears throat> but oh yeah, I need to turn on my, make sure there's one problem I have sometimes. I'm using a USB keyboard, uh, and uh, sometimes when it gets into this kind of, this particular window, as a matter of fact, it, uh, the keyboard won't do anything. And I don't really know what's up with that, except for I am using a, <clears throat> this is USB 2, you know, on the, on the server. The keyboard, well, it's actually, I think it's USB 1. I've had it for almost 20 years. It's an HP keyboard. And I like it. I've had two of them. I, this is my, I bought two of them around around the same time and wore one out and now I'm using the other one. Anyway, uh, I don't know if something goes on with that, you know, that, I mean, it works perfectly in normal operation, but in this uh, boot screen, uh, when there's an error like this, it works in normal boot screens. Something happens, and the key, but I've got a, a wireless keyboard that um, <clears throat> does seem to work in all screens, uh, as long as you have the dongle plugged in to the machine itself. If you plug it into that USB hub, it, it won't work either in this in situation like this. So, uh, yeah, the one drive's gone, and then the one that is the turning with the has a yellow light. It's in port one I box one bay three. And if you start at the top left and start counting down, you'll know, one two three. So I think there's numbers on the front of there too. I I, I have to get the magnifying glass to see them. Then it says automatic data recovery uh, previously. Uh, Aborted. Okay, the array diagnostics utility. I think it's ADU. Yeah, array diagnostic utility. Uh, I guess it says C for more information. Select F1 to retry automatic data recovery. Okay, select F2 to continue without automatic data recovery. See, that's why I thought it was going to be automatic. Aborted. I wonder, no, because that's, this message I'm reading right now was never there before. I was going to say, I wonder if it's because I pulled that drive out, but that's not it. Uh, and then, let's see. F2 to continue without starting automatic data recovery. Resume F1 or F2 key. Automatic data recovery enable. Well, that's kind of uh, contradictory to what the first two lines said. Isn't it? F1 is to resume automatic data recovery. F2 is to continue without starting it. So then, you know, F8 to run uh, option ROM configuration utility, escape to skip configuration and continue. Okay. So I'll be ready to hit uh, <clears throat> F1 on the, both keyboards. Better get right and reach them both. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Um... And then the next uh, message, it moved on up. You know, I, I just barely had enough time to read that. Luckily, I thought of hit, getting a screenshot. Uh, automatic, and then, uh, yeah, it just says, okay, it says the same thing again. Okay. All right, oh, that's just, now I think that's the same message. It's just, I don't know why it's less of it showing there. Oh, I see. I'm going backwards. So that was the later and this is earlier. Yeah, okay. So uh, that was, for, you know, uh, and also you notice I was hand holding the camera and I was holding it really badly. So that's the last thing I saw. And I don't think there was anything any more pertinent to this situation anyway. So I saw what I needed to see. But luckily I got it on the camera so that I could check and see if I was, what key to hit. I, I did remember it right this time. <clears throat> But uh, most often I really can't remember, you know, when something happens. Okay, so I'm just going to reboot. And uh, this is Fedora 32 Linux that I'm running. It looks odd to you. <clears throat> uh, made by Red Hat. On, uh, you know, production servers. Red Hat will run on most servers these days has for years but anyway <clears throat> once it reboots I'm gonna hit F1 if it doesn't take right away then I will uh, 
use, I'm going to hit it on my USB keyboard first, and if it doesn't seem to do anything, then I'll hit it on the other one. You better get ready. It can go by really fast sometimes. It's, it's, it just takes a little, uh, I mean, servers are, you know, boot, slower to boot anyway, but I have it set to show more uh, output of what's going on because I can't remember all the different keys, what they are. It's like, like that message, I might not have ever even seen the whole thing if I didn't have it set that way. It doesn't make a lot of difference. <coughs> <coughs> Probably 20, 30 more seconds in the overall boot cycle. Maybe more than that. It, it is probably, you know, it was probably twice as long as it was before I turned on the, uh, went into the BIOS and turned on uh, the more, you know, display more of the output during boot. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, oh, and there's another thing that I wasn't in that window. Uh, it has had for even several months six months maybe it it throws up an error saying uh previous uh backup failed and um first i thought oh, oh there's something wrong you know with the raids not working right for, but then i remembered uh then more i read it i thought no i think it's talking about the uh, uh there is a mention of the uh it has a gigabyte of uh a flash memory with a battery attached to it so that even if you have a power loss it's still not going to uh, you know it'll it'll save it'll, it'll it's always got a buffer of a gigabyte of data in there and uh, it helps save your programs from getting damaged or anything <clears throat> and uh, at first I thought that was at first when I saw this I thought that might be what's going on and then I realized well uh, you know this is this is hard drive, not uh, flash memory that it's talking about. So, but I still need. I, I plan on getting me a. I, I'm pretty sure the battery's uh, gone, uh, worn out. You know, and I'm not quite sure. Let's start right now because I'm just going to alternate between them because I don't know which one's going to work. Probably have to wait till that screen comes up. Though <clears throat> I think I think during the this section here, you won't. Uh, it won't take any input. Let's see when if I see that memory, I'll try the H. I'll try the try the HP keyboard USB, and then I'll try the wireless if it don't work. Yeah, there's the uh, ILO P410i controller. That's what I was talking about. That's the RAID card on these things. There, 